Okay, good evening. Welcome to? Practice number eight. Practice number eight. Okay, so you, I asked you what you wanted to talk about because we have to do a special one tonight because I'm, a, I'm running out tomorrow morning. And you want to talk about 3D shapes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, there's, a, there's, some, there's five really famous 3D shapes, and they're called the platonic solids. Mm -hmm. And they were, they've been known for more than 2,000 years, maybe even 4,000 years. They were known in ancient Greece. You've, you've learned about ancient Greece, right? Yeah. They're, they really liked geometry back then. Did you know that? No. So, we know how to draw a few of them. One, one's called a tetrahedron. Have you ever heard that before? No. Okay, it's got a triangle on the bottom, and then a, kind of a point up here, and then it's got, oops, it probably doesn't show up that well. It's got three triangles. It's like a pyramid. Mm -hmm. Kind of like a pyramid with a, with a triangular base. Yeah. Have you ever seen a shape like that before? No. It's got four triangle sides. That's called a tetrahedron. Mm, yeah. Okay. So I wish I had one. If I, if I had more time for this movie tonight, I would have shown you one. I'll show you a picture of one on the internet, though. Tetrahedron. Okay, you know what the next one's called? No. A cube. Have you ever heard about a cube before? Yeah. I've drawn a cube. You've drawn a cube? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. Show me. I didn't know you knew how to draw a cube. Actually, draw it big, so it shows up really well on camera. Okay, I know how to draw a 3D square. Well, do, draw whatever, draw, see, show me, draw something big, 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 big. Yes, oh, I like it. Okay, and then what do you do next to make it into a cube? Okay. All right, and then you just connect. Hey, that's great. So that's a cube. How many sides does a cube have? Hmm. Six. 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 Good. And they're all what shape? Square. They're all squares. Okay, very good. All right, you ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. An octahedron. Uh, do you know what octo means? Eight. Eight. An octahedron is basically two tetrahedrons on top of each other. So, and then it goes down like this. You met, can you can you sort of picture what that looks like? Yeah. Kind of imagine two tetrahedrons on, on top. So it has eight sides, eight faces, and they're all triangles. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now here's a crazy one. I can't draw this one. This one's called a dodecahedron. I've heard that. It has twelve sides. Yeah. How'd you know that? Twelve faces. Mm -hmm. How'd you know that? Mm, I just thought of it. You just thought of it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The dodecahedron has 12 faces. And you know what they are? What? Pentagons. Yeah. So it kind of looks like a soccer ball. Mm -hmm. Do you know what a pentagon is? Yeah. How many sides does a pentagon have? Uh, six. Five. So a dodecahedron kind of looks like a, a soccer ball. And here's the last one, an icosahedron. This has 20 faces. And they're all triangles. Wow. Wow, that's a pretty cool shape. I'll show you online. So these are the platonic solids. So these are some really famous 3D shapes. Mm -hmm. Do you want to learn how to play around with these shapes? Okay, well maybe they, they make dice that are these shapes, so I'll, maybe we'll buy some dice and we'll play around with them. And maybe like for math practice 20 when we get the dice, we can, we can show everybody what they look like. How's that sound? Yeah. Alright. Good job, sweetie. Good job.